Hello again, audience. This time on Let's Play Amnesia Dark Descent, we find out what exactly that noise he, uh, he was talking to me about in that letter. I've done this once before, I believe. There we go. Another region rich with noise. I'll just, I'll, I'll dip, dip. Deep within the East Prussian woods. For centuries there have been stories surrounding the Hamlet and its neighbor, Castle Brennenberg. The quiet, far, quiet forest cloud mountains dressed with the scattered lakes is as pisker, <laughs> picturesque as can be. Albeit the area is haunted by the dark. Ask any local and you will hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversations, since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twist on the tales, but there are some motifs that keep reappearing. <clears throat> the Gatherers this story reaches all the way back to the time of the Thirty Years' War. It is said that soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold dark woods and were forever damned to roam their grounds. Their bodies wrought by their tainted souls have left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have cited them over the years and described them as horrid revenants. They move silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are called gatherers, as they seem to follow some ambition to steal the living creatures. It is their prey which can be heard struggling inside damp burlap sacks, dragged behind them, which reveal their presence. What dark scheme do they follow? A visit undone. Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa, the well-known erudite, visited Alistair in the start of the 16th century. He resided in the local inn for a fortnight as he looked for remnants of kingdoms past. During his stay, all the prominent members of society paid notice, and he is mentioned in many records of the time. One day, he went to investigate the bur uh, burrow in the northwestern glades, only to never be seen again. Heinrich is known to have passed away in the Green Nobles some ten years later. He dismissed the notion of ever visiting Eldestat, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was this mysterious man who visited the sleepy hamlet in the woods and what happened to him? The Immortal Baron. The Baron of Brennenberg lives a reclusive life with his family at his castle nearby Eldestat, and like most of those noble birth, rumors are inherited in long slide with the title. Researching the history reveals little before that the castle was consumed by fire in the late 16th century. It was rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman from the Rhinelands, claiming the role as protector of the Prussian state. Alexander helped the region to flourish and remain popular throughout his presumed lifetime. The family has always been secretive when it comes to lineage and heritage, therefore the birth and death of Alexander and his offspring has never been fully recorded. This has been the idea that the Baron is in fact the one and the same who came from the West over 300 years ago, lived through the time of occupation, and joined the coveted order of the Black Eagle, along with the great leaders of this country. I don't know if you noticed, but I progressively got older as I went through those notes. And my friend B. Poppy is playing Warhammer. Okay. okay. Just gonna... Thank you. 
not want to go back that way. Oh no. Wilhelm and his fools have endangered my research long enough with their absent-minded handling of the human vessels. The sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the forest and is killing my trusty servants. It is just a matter of time until they follow the trail to Brennenburg. I need to lock Wilhelm and his men up it to avoid further investigation from the public. The wine cellar will therefore be sealed off until the matter has been handled. Either the king's men leave or they will starve. Whatever comes first, they can rot for all I care. Maybe I will feed them some wine. It will, in a sense, solve both of my problems. But hopefully, by now, everything in the wine cellar is quite dead. But I have a feeling that that's probably not the case. Hmm, this door was not open before. What the hell is that? Oh. Okay. Just gonna look at this boat. This chair. It's okay. Just have a chair. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Whoa! The statues were praying, gazing into the dark domed ceiling. Okay. Stop freaking out, guy. That's, that's my job. So I have the wine cellar key. Yes. Heading to the wine cellar. Which was. Come on, Bee Poppy! Killing me. Oh god. How do I use the key? Ah! Here we go, the wine cellar. The stone slab looked like a safety measure. It wasn't meant to be moved ever again. But there was such a pretty light behind it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. 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 Well. I think that's good enough for now. I'm gonna just leave that uh, monster -y guy alone. And um. <laughs> Next time, we're going to try not to 
go insane. Well, have a good time. Peace out. <laughs>